Hi everyone, welcome back to the Wine Archive. My name is Jan Ludobeka and today we're going to taste the wine from Pomerol. More specifically, we're going to taste Chateau L'Evangile 2004. Let's taste. So before tasting the wine, I'm already going to open up the bottle. I will decant the wine. I will wait for two or three hours and then I will come back to review the wine. Okay, nice. So the wine is clean, it has no flaws, and now let's wait two or three hours and come back for the review. So it has been two hours and approximately 30 minutes that I waited. In the meanwhile, I'll, I tasted the wine a couple of times every 20 minutes or so, just to see the evolution of the wine, what's happening in the decanter. That's actually a, a, a small tip that I give you. If you decant the wine or if you open up an older bottle and you know it needs some time to breathe, just pour a glass and retaste it every 15 or 20 minutes to see the evolution of the wine. It's very interesting to learn like that. So let's start off with a few words about the winery. Chateau L'Evangile is of course located in Pomerol, which is situated in the right bank of Bordeaux. The winery is also part of the Lafitte group which also has, for example, Duart Milon, Chateau Rieux Sec, and of course, Chateau Lafitte. Next to wineries only in, in France or Bordeaux, should I say like that, they also have some wineries all over Europe. The vineyard is managed by Olivier Trejot, which is a technical director at Chateau L'Evangile, but also Chateau Rieux Sec and two other wineries. The vineyard covers 22 hectares, which is made up of sandy clay soil and pure gravel. The grape varieties consist of 80% of Merlot and 20% of Cabernet Franc. So the Merlot contributes the body and the fruity flavor of the wine and the Cabernet Franc brings the finesse and the structure of the wine. Traditional techniques are used to make this wine outside and also inside of the winery. The 2004 vintage was marked by a moderate rainfall in the winter, lots of rain in the spring and a hot and cool summer. The end of the season was fantastic with fine and dry weather throughout September and October. The 2004 vintage consists of 89% of Merlot and 11% of Cabernet Franc. Now let's taste the wine. First the color. So the color is very deep and intense, but I would say it's medium garnet. On the nose. You have some smokiness some toasty aromas. It's like being at a barbecue. It also has some kind of savory and meaty smell. It's for example, if you put a ribeye or a steak at, on the grill or on a barbecue, and then you smell the meat when it's done, it's like just a meaty smell, the savory smell. It's something like that. You have also a, a very present bouquet of fruity aromas. I will lean more towards black fruits, something like black cherry, black currant, raspberries. You have some very fine and delicate notes of sweetness from the oak. And to finish it up, you have a nice bouquet of floral notes and Mediterranean herbs. Wow. The wine is very intense on your palate. There is a very straight attack on your mid palate with fruity flavors, which are the same that on your nose. So black cherries, black currants, and raspberries. Wow, I'm really enjoying this wine. 
The wine is also very savory and has some hints of smokiness. But what I also can really appreciate about this vintage is the freshness. So the acidity level is not quite high, but is for sure still present. But it really, it's a nice balance between everything. You have some very silky ripe tannins and the finish is very long and powerful. I never had a bad experience with Chateau L'Evangile, even with old vintages. If you have some vintages between 70s and 80s, please just enjoy it. It's a true gem or you will be surprised by the insane quality that they made these, uh, in these decades. I really hope you enjoyed this tasting. Let us know in the comments if you already have experience with Chateau L'Evangile. It will be very interesting for us. And also make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see each other on the next one. Cheers.